This in-service video will provide you with basic instructions on manipulation of the disposable endoscopic stabilers from Bayon Surgery. For more information, please refer to the instructions for use included in the package. Stapler Reload Product Description Verify that the reload size matches the instrument size to be used. If needed, rotate the jaws by pushing on the fins of the rotating knob with the index finger using a downward or upward pressure. The instrument shaft will rotate freely in either direction. Pull back and hold the articulation fin to activate the articulation joint. Apply lateral pressure to the jaws to articulate the device. Release articulation fin to lock jaws into articulated position. Insert the new reload by sliding it against the bottom of the cartridge jaw until the cartridge alignment tab stops in the reload alignment slot. Snap the reload securely in place. Remove the staple retaining tab. Close the jaws of the instrument by squeezing the closing trigger until it locks in place. An audible click indicates that the closing trigger is locked. Introduce the instrument into the body cavity through a 12mm trocar. When using a trocar, the instrument jaws must be visible past the trocar sleeve before opening the jaws. To articulate the jaws inside the body cavity, ensure that the jaws are in the open position. Pull back and hold the articulation fin to activate the articulation joint. Apply lateral pressure to the jaws to articulate the device. Release articulation fin to lock jaws into articulated position. Position the instrument around the tissue to be stable. After positioning the instrument jaws, close the jaws by squeezing the closing trigger toward the handle until it locks. An audible and tactile click indicates that the closing trigger and the jaws are locked. Fire the instrument. The complete firing action requires for complete strokes to cut the full reload length and return the knife to its home position. At the end of the fourth stroke, the knife has returned to its home position. Press the anvil release button to separate the instrument jaws and allow both triggers to return to their original positions. Gently pull the instrument away from the transected tissue and ensure it is released from the jaws. Before removing articulating instruments, move the jaws away from any obstruction inside the body cavity while keeping the jaws open and within the field of view, and pull on the fins of the rotating knob. The jaws will return to the straight position automatically. Squeeze the closing trigger until it locks, closing the jaws. Completely withdraw the instrument in the closed position. Press the anvil release button to separate the instrument jaws. Push upward to unsnap the reload from the cartridge jaw. Discard the used reload. Note, if it is necessary to interrupt the firing sequence, push the red manual knife reverse switch downward to reverse the knife motion. The knife direction indicator will display an arrow pointing towards the proximal end of the instrument to indicate the knife is in the return mode. To complete, squeeze the firing trigger completely until it rests on the closing trigger, after which the stroke count indicator will display 0 to indicate the knife has returned to its home position. Prior to reloading the instrument, rinse the anvil and cartridge jaw in sterile solution and then wipe the anvil and cartridge jaw to clear any form, but unused staples from the instrument. Do not use the instrument until it has been visually inspected to confirm there are no staples on the anvil and cartridge jaw. Please refer to the product instruction manual for more information.